Hey everybody, welcome to OddPod, I'm Dan and this is a toy collection update where you see all the latest additions to my ever growing toy collection and it's been quite a while since my last toy collection update and this one's not a huge one but there's still there's some cool stuff in there so I'll start off with a package that I got from a fellow YouTuber called Jeff Solo and he sent me, or well, this thing I wasn't actually expecting because I thought he was sending me what's in here but this thing I wasn't expecting, it's very very cool it is a sealed, well, semi-sealed, because it's got a bit of damage at the bottom, but it's not too bad. It is a Charizard, a Japanese Charizard carded figure. Very, very cool. I think I might have one, but not carded. I think I've got one loose somewhere, but very, very cool. Really, really like this. A bit of some damage, but not a big deal. I haven't got one carded or anything. So you can get Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise, Sneedo King, Clefairy, and Pikachu. And like I said, it's all in Japanese, and it says Monster... I can't read the word under there, something collection, but very cool by Tomy. Really, really like this, very cool, love it. Alright, uh, put that down there. Next up, the thing I thought I was getting was these, so the Charizard was a nice little addition, but it was a load of Tazos. So, if you don't know what Tazos are, they're kind of like Pogs back in the day, but they had the little grooves, so you got um, one, um, Looney Tunes ones, I should say, and then you sort of connect them, like that and you can build and build and build and make loads and loads and loads of them and he gave me a load of them I also got a f um, one of these pogs um, I call them flippers but I don't know what else anybody else calls them obviously the thicker ones are slammers which is slam down for your pogs and the thinner ones I always call flippers because they're the ones you try and flip the um, pogs I don't know what they're officially called but I call them yeah I call them flippers but um, yeah he got me oh god there was quite a few I'll show you in there there you go load of Tazos and I will eventually do a proper video on Tazos and stuff like that and Pogs so yeah thank you Jeff Solo for the cool package uh, next up we have another thing sent by someone which I really appreciate is the Animaniacs album music from the TV series I loved this album as a kid um, I used to listen to it a lot because I loved Animaniacs and yeah it's all like you know Wacko's America, Yakko's World um, just loads of, and obviously the intro for Animaniacs, it's all the songs from the TV show which are really good and it's the album and it's in such good condition, I even got a nice little letter from Orange Hedgehog 2012 who sent me this and it's even a little Sonic the Hedgehog paper and everything I really do appreciate Orange Hedgehog 2012, please check out Orange Hedgehog's channel and if I do remember, in the description below I'll try and leave um, the links to the Jeff Solo and Orange Hedgehog's channel if I don't, just remind me and I will but Animaniacs album, so happy to have this, and yeah, I'm, just, I'm really happy to have this, thank you so much. So that's that, uh, next up, what should I have, oh, just a little one here, we have a Ghostbusters ghost, very very cool, I think this is Peter Venkman's ghost, I think so, it could be Peter Venkman's, I don't know if it's focusing very well, kind of, but yeah, he's very cool, I didn't have him, so I now have him, very cool. Put them down there. Uh, what should I show next? Okay, I'll show this next. Not retro, but still cool. It is a Pac Man teddy that I got from Black Rabbit 3333 as part of a prize because every Monday I do a live stream as a guest on a show he does called In the Warren. And yeah, I won this. It's a little prize. But that was cool. I did win other things as well. I'll show you one of them as well. But the other two things, or three things, I can't remember, are downstairs and I forgot to bring them up. But the other one was a boxed copy of Wave Race 64 for the N64. Really happy about future review or gameplay, probably. Very cool. Thank you, Black Rabbit. Uh, what should I show next? Okay, another one <laughs> by a fellow YouTuber. This one was sent to me, and I did buy this one, but it was sent to me by Paul Poo. And it is the Pokemon Badge and Magnet, um, what do you call it? Moulding set, there we go. And yeah, it's all sealed. I didn't realise it was going to be sealed, so I'm very happy about that. It has got a bit of a tear and seal, so I don't know whether to just open it and use it, but no, nah, I can't. It's part of my Pokemon collection. If I get a second one, I will do a review and proper video actually making them, but for now, I'm going to have to keep this sealed and not use it. But like I said, if I get a double, there'll be a good video when I actually make some of these. Very, very cool. So yeah, thank you, Paul Poo, for sending me that. Very much appreciate it, and it's very cool. It's definitely in my Pokemon collection, displayed. Very nice. Don't know what I'm talking about now. <laughs> Displayed very nice. Weird. Right, next up. 
we have a Philips CDI game. This is Compton's Compton's, yeah, interactive encyclopedia for the <laughs> Philips CDI. Another YouTuber um, didn't send me this, but influenced me to buy this. He did a live stream recently showing off um, Philips CDI games. He has. He's called Dan Central, and I saw this. It does look. I, I loved encyclopedias as a kid on PC, like in Carter '95 and stuff like that. And I loved clicking through them. And this is kind of like that. Basically, you just um, it says it's got five thousand two hundred comprehensive articles and pictures and videos and stuff like that. And I thought, yeah, I love stuff like that. So yeah, gonna try that on my Philips CDI sometime. Very very cool. Next up, what have we got? Um, okay, I'll show you this off. We have it, I don't know how it's gonna come up on the camera, but yeah, you can probably see everything behind me. <laughs> we have a Ninja Turtles mirror. It's got it's wrapped in cellophane at the moment because I haven't undone it because I'm gonna be putting it on the wall soon. But it's a Donatello. I don't know if I can get that close to what you've seen. Yeah, there we go. You can see it. But it's a Donatello um, mirror. Very very cool and. I had to get this because I did actually have this as a kid. I'm not sure if it was Donatello that I had, but um, I know I had one of them. I, I might have had more than that. I think it might have been Leonardo, you know. I can't remember, but I did have a Ninja Turtles mirror as a kid, so very happy to have, to have that, and I can't wait to put it on my wall. Very cool. And I actually bought this, uh, as well as two of the things you're going to see here. Um, I bought this from a cool website um, called Mighty Fine Stuff. I'll try and leave a link in the description below, but if you need any Ninja Turtles, like say you've got some toys and you, they're accessories where you just go on that website, you get all the accessories for them and they sell all other bits and bobs, just anything Ninja Turtles you can think of, they get. And I did need some accessories to, for some of my figures so I went on the website and they sent it me. They're an American company and yeah, really really cool, great to deal with as well. Now I'll show you something else now that I got from Mighty Fine Stuff. And that is, well I didn't get this from Mighty Fine Stuff, but this is the Caveman Donatello with his um, T-Rex thing. I can't remember what this is actually officially called, I can't remember. I did look before, but I can't remember now. It could have been, oh I can't remember, Cave Donny or something like that. And I can't remember what the dinosaur's called, but dinosaur's got a cool bandana too. And yeah, it's very, very cool. I will do a proper toy review of this sometime. But um, I didn't have all the accessories like um, um, Donny's staff and the... Flail? Do you call them flails? And the reins as well. Didn't have them. So I got them from Mighty Fine Stuff. Very cheap. And then I had a complete figure. So I'm pretty sure this is 100% complete now. And I will try and do a review in the future. Very cool though, isn't it? I really, really like that. So yeah, that's that. And I did get one more thing from Mighty Fine Stuff, but I'll show you that in a sec. This next one I just got off eBay. And that is a complete Mondo Gecko figure. Or Mondo Gecko, dude. Don't know. But a <laughs> complete Mondo Gecko figure. Um, just what I love about 90s or early 90s toys and late 80s. It, just, it was all about being radical and cool and being a dude and stuff like that. And yeah, proper love it. And he's on his little skateboard and everything. He's even got a roller skate on his tail there. Very, very cool. I just look at that. Look at that face. Such a cool toy. So yeah, full review of him sometime soon as well. And yeah, that is Mondo Gecko. Really like him. And last of all, we have the big thing that I got from Mighty Fine Stuff. Um, like I said, I'll try and leave link to the description to everything I've mentioned today. If I don't, just remind me. <laughs> but that is the Ninja Turtles Sewer Shooter Periscope. It's quite big, but um, yeah, it basically is a water gun periscope. Uh, if you can see here, it's got a try me thing and you can actually look in there. And I don't know if I could do the effect on camera. You might be able to see stuff that's above me now with the periscope effect. There you go, you can see that. There we go. <laughs> well, yeah, that's just above my head. There you go. So, um, yeah, you just look through there and you can see a fin around you and stuff. Very, very cool. And this, again, will be a review in the future. And, and like I said, it's also a water shooter as well. Very cool. I did see this on... Um, I don't know what, it was a TV show, maybe Toy Hunter TV show, and I saw it in the background of like a Comic Con or something, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I've got to get that Ninja Turtles Periscope. So yeah, I went on Mighty Fine Stuff and got it, I think it was $15, and it's in a ama the box is just immaculate, it's in amazing condition, and yeah, I just love it, and you got got um, Raphael fighting Baxter Stockman on the front there, and everything. Really cool box, I absolutely love it. Um, good thing about it, it has already been opened, it was really, look at the browned, Cell tape there, so I think it's been carefully opened. Uh, I won't open it now, obviously, because there will be a review in the future. But um, 
see if I can get it. There you go, so it's got all its plastic uh, insides and everything, so it has been very carefully opened and probably not played, I doubt it's been played with. But um, I will do reviewing it sometime and I will play with it. So that's that. So really hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, it wasn't a huge collection update and a lot of the stuff people just sent me and I really do appreciate that by the way. So that was the latest toy collection update. Really hope you enjoyed it and it has been a while and there probably won't be one for another while as well because money, <laughs> it costs money. So once I've got money again, I will be getting some more stuff and I will show you next time I've got more stuff. And I'm pretty sure there were a few more things but because it's been such a long time since my last toy collection update, I think a few of the things might have just gone onto shelves and into my collection so I can't remember what I have and haven't shown you. But I'm pretty sure most of the stuff I get new I usually put on the table here to do a toy collection update of. So I might have forgot a few bits but I'm sure they weren't huge bits. But thank you for watching everybody. Like, comment, subscribe if you already haven't. And I really hope you enjoyed watching this. Comment below and let me know what you thought of everything. And check out the links in the description below. And just thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.